Hello again, a new experiment today. You see the weather outside, it's pretty crowded. I don't bet on big solar production today and that's why I want to experiment something. You see, now my panels are uh, connected for delivering around 60 volts um, in uh, series parallel. Okay, finally I have 60 volts with so around uh, 900 watts or something. And this is something really interesting. I am connecting the panels, or better said, the panels now are connected straight to the inverter. This is supposed to be an MPPT solar inverter, and uh, the voltage is dropping drastically at uh, 36.2 volts from 60 or something. Power production, it's very, very low. Well, I was thinking about having a direct panel connection to this guy, not through the batteries and the MPPT charger, because I thought, you see, we have a double conversion here. Let's say panels goes in here, have a first MPPT going down to the batteries, 36 volts batteries, lead acid, and um, then the batteries are connected here. But this is really funny. Look at this guy. So it's dropping the voltage down to 36 volts and I only have 25 watts of production. Now, what I'm going to do the next is to connect the MPPT back to the panels and the MPPT is charging the batteries and the batteries are in fact providing energy to the solar inverter, to the converter, okay? Let me have this out. This is a very simple switch. These are the converter or the inverter, in fact, uh, input, which I will hook it in parallel with the batteries right here at the in MPPT charger. The batteries are depleted. We are at 36.5 volts, so I don't have any extra juice you know for for saying that uh, they will do any uh, production or something okay yes there we go all i have to do now is to have the panels connected to my mppt okay there's the minus and here we have the plus why I'm doing this now? Because it's uh, pretty cloudy and we don't have too much power in the system. So I can play with my toys here. Let's take a look at the MPPT here. All right. As you can see, we have a 55.7 volts from the panels and 41 watts, 41 watts going to the battery or better said, uh 1.1 amps almost nothing but the point is that this in ppt it's keeping the voltage pretty high it's 55.5 okay now simply let's connect the inverter <laughs> 36 volts input obviously that's from the batteries the batteries are not charged and let's wait for the power production and look there people 278 now it's taking from the batteries of course but it, it will go down in a second the voltage here from the solar panels uh, are still pretty high okay it's going down to 52 now the real production is starting And look here, I have more than 19 watts of, of uh, or 18, 81, instead of 25, like I had uh, before. So this is, this is kind of funny. In fact, it's a double conversion, no? MPPT, charging batteries, and batteries coming to this other guy, somehow, 
I think it's much better production if we insert a battery on the way. The panels going straight to this kind of converter doesn't do too much. It's funny, but, uh, but it's working. Look at the voltage here, 55, 54. So I may say this MPPT charge controller, it's much efficient with the panels than the direct connection to the converter. I don't know if you understand me, but it proves that having this to a battery down there and then from the battery providing to the converter it gives me almost three times more energy in a cloudy day like this well i think this is very clear and i hope it's useful too if you have any question please uh, don't hesitate ask me please like subscribe and of course don't forget to write <laughs> have some fun bye bye